hi I'm uh, stuck at home and I'm sick so I thought I might as well make a video so uh, here are some art tips for me personally that you will also find on any other art tip video but I might as well give it to you anyway okay I'm really sorry for this shitty drawing I have blisters all over my hand and it's extremely hard for me to use any kind of utensil anyways um, so my first tip it involves shading so I'm not sure how it is for other artists, but for me personally, um, I've always avoided the airbrush tool because, you know, I've always considered it somewhat like a beginner tool. Don't do this. Use every, like, brush you have. It's very resourceful. Basically, what happens is you have this, right? You have this little shading, all this uh, solid shading. No. Um, I mean, if that's your style, go for it, but... Um, doing this just makes it look more realistic so okay I'm not like an expert or anything but um so you have the source of the shadow and the further away from the object it gets the more faded out it becomes so you don't always have a solid shadow all the time it's a blurry it becomes like solid and then it slowly becomes blurry okay so something like this I know it's not like good enough but uh, you should get the idea, so uh, don't be afraid to use the airbrush and blur your shadows if you can. Okay, should be drawing number two. Hopefully my tip makes up for it. Again, I have blisters all over my hands, so it's basically impossible for me to draw. Anyways, um, this is the second tip that you're basically going to find anywhere. Any artist will tell you this, but um, don't, don't don't do don't do this um you know these fully saturated uh dull colors okay um what you want to do is you want to try to pick out a palette or some kind of theme for your art like a, a warmer color or a cooler color um and also the white um this is like the number one thing never use white in your art always use some kind of a lighter shade of something from this area okay it's not that big of a difference but you can kind of see here how it contrasts okay adding on to the never use white tip um, this is specifically for eyes but you can see that it, the eyes never appear white it's more like a grayish color not only this is applied to the eye usually I never almost avoid trying to use white unless it's absolutely necessary um but i always choose a, a like a darker tone of white uh in my art if i ever need the color white so that's a tip a small tip it'll like save you a lot okay next tip um this is also kind of like shading but if you want to give your art more depth 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 Def. Uh, you see these like little ends here, you know? Um, so try to give them some sort of color, like lighting, you know, because all surfaces or whatever reflect something or there's, I don't know, the science behind this, but usually a very common thing artists do is like they put a shade of blue like towards like the, the tip of their characters and just do this. It's not about lighting, it's just the reflection, I'm guessing. Uh, for example, like, a circle is never just purely, you know, dark. There's, like, a reflective thing here, like, the light being reflected against the surface. Um, so instead of this, you would have something like this. Now, that, say, apply the same rules of this to your character. Or whatever you may appear to be drawing in. Uh, voila, it creates more depth, I guess. Okay, that just about ends my video. Um, thanks, bye.